gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up, and then when I pick it up, I want you to like shovel. I'm gonna shovel. <laughs> this is demonstration, please. This is not the red one, it's the black radish. Which tastes better, black or red? Red. Red? They said- So the, why are you growing black if they yeah. don't taste good? No, because people like black. They, they, at, it's the market, at the market, they buy these more than they buy these. Really? Yeah, because they just like the eye color. So right now, this is a garden session with the youth leaders in Rockford. And we are tending our garden. There are not many healthy food sources or grocery stores close to here. So most of the people end up going to corner stores buying food that is not healthy for them. So this community garden, one of the purposes of these gardens is to provide a healthy food source. We're able to work with youth and we pay them based on behaviors that get them ready for jobs. And as, as they work, they learn why they want to be here. So maybe at first they're here just to make some money. Um, and then after that, they're here for a whole different reason. It's all about having them have positive interactions with the community and the community valuing what they're doing. And after that, the, the motivation comes from the inside. I think young people enjoy seeing something grow. Seeing something that begins with a seed, just the mere hope of a potential happening. And that has been a transforming opportunity for young people. All right, that's good, you're good. Make this a little bit farther down. There you go, right there, good job. I was just talking uh, the other day to my friend when I was at Blackhawk Park. Uh -huh. We was just playing uh, basketball. I, I told him I just got off of work. Yeah. And he was like, work? where you work at? Like, I work in the garden. He was like, no. He was like, no, for real, where you work? <laughs> I like, I work in the garden. He started laughing. I'm like, what you laughing at? I'm like, this gonna give me opportunity to put stuff on my resume. And he looking at me like, well, it ain't gonna make you no money. I was like, down the long, like down the stretch, it will. Sure, sure. I was just getting into his head yeah, because yeah, it was yeah. so true. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't want to hear it. Oh, this is one of your buddies too. Yeah. not just about people getting the food and knowing where they're getting it from, but there's also something in people learning, learning the process, being familiar with the process. And the Learning Center has programs where they teach people how to grow their own food in their own communities. We're a very urbanized society. And I think that maybe in becoming more and more urbanized, maybe some unconscious yearning forms where people realize that they need to connect to, to the land, to the source of their food. We don't have many people who grew up on farms, but we have some, and they know how to work with their hands. And it's, there's a lot of knowledge inside their bodies. It's like wisdom inside the, bo the bodies. It's not just confined to the head. And you can see it in action. It's a beautiful thing. So a lot of kids don't have that today, but they can get a little bit of it here. They brought the knowledge and expertise. They brought the youth leaders and the eco-advocates. 
We're training the teenagers. So they turn around and they train the community. We now have this ability, these cells of teaching that's happening in our community and happening in places where they're uh, absorbing the knowledge like a sponge. They're growing with that knowledge and they're becoming more confident. One of the reasons Javon is a great example of change is because he's exhibited perseverance. I used to do a lot of bad stuff like when I was younger. And then my mom just one day like, you should just go and do something that, you know, that'll motivate you. Yeah. And I came out here, I looked at this like, this is not for the motivate me. <laughs> I'm like, mom, stop playing. She like, well, this will motivate you. You know, just keep doing it, see how you like it. He's a role model because he is a young black man who is positive, and other young black men need to see him in that role. Came to work when people were saying, hey, what are you doing? Isn't this kind of some girly, low-class job? He's had the strength and the masculinity and the character to keep coming back. It's changed his perspective, not just for eight hours a day, but how he lives out his life. It feels so good. It just feels Dude, like you're, you're a role model, man. I mean, it's, 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 it's an uplift. Cool. Yeah, it, it's a big uplift. And by it being a big uplift, you look at all the people around you like, just come on, get on the train, get on the train. Thanks, man. <laughs>